never have I ever had anal radio silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's um, <clears throat> I think it's an exit only situation. Oh my god, you agree with me? Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I thought you wait, but you've done it. No, no, I don't allow that to happen. Shut up, you've never done it. No. I am blown away by that because no. you've done it all. I mean, Jess, <laughs> I haven't me. done it all. Okay, so I'm just like a really. I don't, whoa, I just feel like that's not like I don't know. I am so. All I right. don't even can't even imagine how that would go down. Honestly. So I told my husband. I told my husband. For, I can't believe how real shit just got. Uh, I just can't. For our honeymoon, I was gonna give him my anal virginity. Okay, this Whoa. was like a thing we joked about for a long time, and then I was like, "No, like I'm really, you know, on our honeymoon, like we're gonna we're gonna do it. Anal virginity is yours. Like I can't give you my real virginity, but second to best, right? Right. I I couldn't go through with it. I couldn't. Go I can't through believe with that it. that's what the conversation was. like. For your wedding present. Yeah. <laughs> well, at first it was like on our wedding night. And then I was like, that's fucking gross. So we're not going to do it on our wedding night. So then I was like, honeymoon. And I have to tell you, like, I and just. you chickened out. I chickened out. Tried? But I have to tell you, he. I was like, like, are you upset? Like, is this something that like you're going to want? And he was like, honestly, I, I could fucking live without it. Like, it's kind of disgusting. And I'm like, thank you. Because I don't like potty talk. Like, yeah, you're really big on that. And I have a friend. Who ha- who did the- who's done this and likes mm-hmm. it? She loves it. That's the thing. That, I like, see. I don't understand where the love comes. That's from. what like, where, like the- that's what scares me is that like, am I missing out because people that like anal like fucking love it? Like they Wait, prefer it sometimes. I don't get that at all. So my friend literally loves anal, and she's told me stories where like she shit all over the sheets. Ew, like what? Yeah, it fucking no, happens. See, what to, do you think? What do you think this. goes on back I there? I don't know. I I don't know. That's I don't why have I any can't expertise. do it. That's why I don't have the like balls to do it because if that ever happened to me okay, I, I couldn't I can't look can't you in the eyes again do you know what, what I mean? mean shit all over the sheets that's shit disgusting all over the fucking sheets. yeah okay bye I'm done with this topic. I'm blown away that you've I never done it I really am about it anymore. oh okay <laughs> never have I ever hooked up with a co-worker wow I don't know yeah I can see you smiling you have because it was the funniest thing ever we had a blackout at work and I was like the receptionist at <gasps> this wedding hall. And one of the servers that like I used to flirt with a lot, like he was like, oh, my God, I can't believe there's a black hell, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow. I was like, this is crazy. The whole place went down. It was a wedding was going on. Like, so no one could really do anything. And he was like, he's like, I'm just going to hang in here, blah, blah, blah. And I was in the coat check, a.k.a. receptionist area because I took all the calls and whatever. And we just like. Are you yeah. kidding me? No. Wait, that was made out, right? Not sleep with? It's just hooked up with. I don't know what the... I want to know what you did. I mean, we just we hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the question asks. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, I love this story. It's incredible. Did you ever yeah. hook up again? No. Um, maybe like made out one time. Like, I'm super jealous. I love that. I just feel like all my coworkers have been gay men, so... No, he was really hot. His name was Alex. All right, call him out. Okay, Alex, get it. He's not, he's, get not even, boy. he's never going to listen to this. Yeah. Never hear it. No way. Okay, Alex, no. doing it at work. Uh, never have ever sent nudes. For, wait, bag up, <laughs> drink, drink, oh, drink, I need drink. More. Oh, oh I God. drink all my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Next off. is never have ever sent nudes, so you could start thinking about oh, that. God. No. Sent nudes? We've obviously sent nudes, right? Like, if you haven't, are I you. I think like, you've seen them on my phone. I've seen Tracy's news. That is fact. Yes. I think I asked you if one was like, like it was good or not, right? Mm-hmm. Then I was like, what do we think of this? Is it not good to send? It's a true friend. Yeah. I mean, all my friends have theirs in my phone. All Tracy's photos are, the she knows. Talk, angles. Angles. Posing. Angles. Like, she's really, really good at this. Like, And I never put my face in anything, just so you know. So don't ever, ever do that. That's <laughs> Great so advice. Stupid. Literally so the best advice. Like, I would never, ever, 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 ever do that. I mean, unless you want to end up on the internet. Mm-mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, yeah, send nudes. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes, can, a few of my friends have been like, can I use this one and send it and say it's me, but it's really you? And I'm like, yeah. Because I just... Whoa, yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of our bad example advice. Like, am I telling like a young girl like to send nudes? Probably no, not. Definitely but, not. But like, they, ha- I feel like this is what, like, especially... But like, if you're going to and not listen to our parenting advice of not sending nudes, then don't put your face but, in yeah, it. Yeah, okay, deal. Fair enough. Good? Yes. Good parenting? Very good parenting. <laughs> <laughs> never have I... Oh my God, never have I ever hooked up with a DILF. DILF, for people who are not in this century, a dad I'd like to... Fondle. <laughs> Damn. I don't know if I have. Have you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell me. 
And it's actually my friend's cousin, which what? she has no idea. And okay, my old boss was like, oh, my, it's her cousin too. I guess they're like twice re- removed from marriage or whatever the case is. It's her husband's cousin. And she was like, oh, my God, you have to talk to this guy. We're going to go to dinner. He has a restaurant. And we were like, "Okay." I was like, whatever. And then he just like kept hitting me up. And he was like, yeah, my son, this and that. Wait, he was was, um, divorced. Yeah, not married. I never condone that. But (laughs) he um, yeah, Dilf, he was really hot. But then like, was it like different? It was weird because I was like man sex. I wasn't young. I was. 22 young carry on yeah and he was like what 30 something 38 wow maybe that's cool that's one regret i think i have mm-hmm. now i know yeah it was it was like it was fun for a while but like it went on for a while what'd you guys do did no you have sex? no we would always like hook up it was never like anything intense like whatever we just like, make did out. he take you on dates or like no one time he asked me if we could go to this restaurant and i was like no i know people there and i was <laughs> like i know that you know our cousins with people that i know and no answers no wow so we would just like hang out watch movies like cook up but like it never was anything imp- and that's then, so weird like what did you talk about it was not like <laughs> like do you really talk no <laughs> but then like it got to a point where like then it ended up to be something like we ended up having sex and he had like this really weird grunt and i was like and that's Ew. a wrap <laughs> I was like, nope. dude grunting like it was like uh, there's some uh, oh no like, no no some things are like now are sex non-negotiables and that my friend is one that is a hard grunting. non-negotiable oh like you know in porn they grunt and no, you're like I no one's doing that this, like yeah. or when they oh okay oh, you know I, mm, okay when they orgasm, okay. do you really want to hear some guy being like, no, no, it I'm not doing so the sound. Gross. Okay. Never have I ever had sex in my parents' bed. I have not. I, I, not in their bed, but in their house, which I want to die. House. Yeah. I think that's normal now. Yeah. I your don't bedroom kn- is in their house. But like, I don't know. When I think about it, I, if my kids ever fucking did that, I'd strangle them. Um... So you know what in I mean? In my bed, I would die. No, in your house. I mean, I feel like that's inevitable. Safe it's place. It's going to happen um, at some point. It's either going to be in my house or it's going to be in their house. Mm. And I'd almost rather, I mean, not rather, but like, I don't know. It's a terrible That's a tough question. I don't like this question. Wait, so you had sex in your parents' house? I'd be terrified of your dad. I feel like he would stomp somebody out. Not while they were home. (laughs) No, I'm so scared. No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Oh, never have I ever slept with a friend's man. Never. Never, No. Cheers. Wait, I went to drink that, but we should. We deserve that. No, cheers. Oh, wait. Can we drink? We're celebrating that we're good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Um, never have ever done drugs. Oh, I do drugs all the time. Really? I do nothing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a loser. No, I'm just kidding. No, I don't do anything. You've tried everything. No, never. What do you mean, nothing? Get the fuck out. No, I swear to God, you could ask me anything. Nothing. You've smoked weed. No, never. Are you kidding me? No, I would what? die. I would die. Corey once gave me a weed brownie. It took me 45 minutes to get up my fucking staircase. <laughs> I would never. That was the closest I ever got to doing a drug. Ever. Wow, really? No, nothing. Not even like when we were younger, like those stupid drugs, like Xanax Molly. or anything. One time I took a Xanax because I was By having accident? like an act. No, for real, because I, I broke up with my boyfriend and my friends oh, were like, you're relax. Panicking. Like, we're going to go out. You're not going to fight with him. And I was like, she's like, just take a Xanax, relax. Because I don't do drugs and I don't know that you can't mix drugs and alcohol, I then drank. And then wait, this is a huge revelation. Just because, like, no, every, I never. Knew. It's not like do drugs, but like everyone's tried. No, like, I coke. have not. No, no, I've never tried anything, <sighs> dude. I once put tell co- your mom to listen right here. She'd be so proud of you. Yeah, I tell her this all the time, and she, I feel like she doesn't even believe me. Or like she's so she's so like spoiled in the fact that none of her kids do drugs that mm-hmm. she's like, <laughs> See, like my oh, parents it's like are like given. hippies, so they. They fucking know. No. They've I, done it all. No, I don't think she understands or appreciates that I haven't like done anything really wrong. Like, okay, I'm, I'm a troublemaker. Like, and, like when you yell at your daughters one day, you I actually can, be, can stand by I've that shit. I've never done that. Wow, that's never, legit. Yeah. No, and I just, I, I think I'm just too scared. Like, I'm really paranoid of the whole world. I don't even want to like vacation in Europe because I feel I've watched like Hostel and all those movies <laughs> and I'm scared of the <laughs> well, world. Neither do I, but. I would never do drugs. I'm such a negative person. I would have <laughs> such a negative effect. Are you kidding? That's why I'm scared wow. to do it. I mean, I love marijuana, so. No, I've never smoked weed ever. Wow. Ever. Have you ever done mushrooms? Are you kidding? <laughs> I don't barely take Tylenol. I'm like, no, this headache will beat itself. Are you kidding? Uh, Mushrooms? I would die. It's funny because like I've done all that stuff, but now like I don't know how you survive. It. No, and I never want to or no. like I have zero, zero interest in ever doing something like that again because 
now more than ever, I'm like obsessive controlling. Like I can't not control myself. So, but I can't believe, I can't believe what you're just told me right now. Like that's a huge, that's I, a crazy thing for, for I to guess, hear. I just, I guess I'm so used to it. All my friends know it too. If they were like, um, have you ever done this? And they were like, yeah, I've tried it. And they're like, has but Tracy, like your friends they, have tried it. No, but my friends know not to do anything in front of me because I'm, I'm like a mom <laughs> before I was a mom. I'm a mom. And they like, if they were to do Coke or something, they would never, ever, ever do it with me. They do it behind your back. Probably behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> and they lie to me and tell me I've never done it because they know I would flip out. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm not about it at all. Wow. Good for you, my Thank girl. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend.